the bright lights, the city lights, tourist lights, attraction lights. Wow. Well, this morning, bright and early, uh, we find ourselves in a place, a location that some call one of the seven wonders of the world. Uh, literally, one of the seven wonders of the world. Is it one of the seven wonders of the world? Hey, I don't know, but many, many times it has been referred uh, as such. Good morning, everybody. Gary here. Welcome to my channel, Gary Clayton Photography. Thank you for joining me this morning on this morning shoot. So, today, we find ourselves in Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. Now, this is a place I've been to several times, although I've never come here uh, on, a, on a shoot, on a photography shoot. I've just come here as a tourist, look around, take a few days, a day or two, R&R, &R, uh, with a loved one, by myself, with family, whatever. But today, I wanted to come and photograph the actual, well, I supposedly, one of the seven wonders of the world, the Niagara Falls themselves. Now, it promises to be interesting. We had a lot of rain last night. Cold front came through, it became quite cold. Uh, so this morning, who knows? It's a while before sunrise yet. But just take a look at some of these lights. As we walk down towards the Niagara Falls themselves, just take a look. Interesting indeed. Well, really quite interesting, and you know, I actually like bright city lights. I always have. I'm not particularly a city person, I don't think, but I've always liked bright city lights. But then again, I guess most people do. So, we're actually very, very early. Um, I think it's still, oh, probably over an hour before sunrise, maybe an hour and a half even. Um, but I don't like particularly having to rush uh, to catch a sunrise, which I've done many times. Um, but anyhow, so yeah, the plan today. First of all, this is not a commissioned shoot. This is a shoot uh, for two reasons. One, because I just thought it would be a really interesting location to share with you guys. Uh, Niagara Falls. I mean, yeah, like I said, some call it one of the seven wonders of the world. I don't know. I know on a night last night when I was here and I was touring, walking around the falls, the falls area looked absolutely stunningly beautiful. Uh, they have it illuminated and so on. And it looked great. Uh, today is Saturday, October the 24th. Yesterday was like a summer's day. But a cold front came through. Thunderstorms last night, much, much colder this morning. I can start to hear the roar of the falls, but there's nothing I can see in the actual gorge itself where the falls lie. Ah, uh, just dark, just darkness. As I say, we're really quite early, but I scouted last night. Um, I looked for one or two areas that I might want to take or try to take, try to capture an image, an image that I'd like to display at my home. I'm looking today for an image that's printable, 
frameable, something that I can capture that will look nice in my home. And that's uh, the primary reason, I guess, of the shoot today. But let's just see what we can see. Because this right here was one of the locations that I wanted to shoot the falls from. And again, there's really not much to see right now. Very, very dark down there. But we can hear the roar of the American Falls. Niagara Falls itself is broken up into two sections. One being the American Falls, the other one being the Horseshoe Falls that I guess come together to create Niagara Falls. Now, Horseshoe Falls, well, as the name suggests, it is in the shape of a horseshoe. And what happens there is it tends to cup all the moisture and the moisture just rises the mist, uh, the spray, if you will, from the actual waterfall itself. Probably won't see much of it right now, but we are pointing the camera in the direction of the actual horseshoe falls itself and to the left, the American falls. So because the mist rises straight up and because of the shape of the horseshoe falls themselves it tends to sit there it becomes extremely difficult to photograph because there's a huge amount of mist of spray uh, sitting all around the fall uh, all the falls but the american falls is different it's a linear fall a straight line fall it tends to have significantly less mist kind of retention um, that's primarily what we're going to photograph this morning. Okay. Having said all that babbling. Wow. Yeah, having said all that babbling. Uh, it's just a matter right now of hurry up and wait. And there is a little coffee shop just up the street there. They were closed when I passed by. But they may open shortly. I'd like to get maybe get myself a cup of coffee because I really do just have to wait okay so behind me over the bridge to the east that's where we're expecting that's where we're hoping the light is going to come from as the Sun approaches the horizon in front of me the actual American Falls my composition directly ahead of me looks very nice if we can get some light on the fall colors behind the actual falls themselves when the sun rises from the east then that would look beautiful uh, are we going to get that well you know what when we look to the east right now we've got a mixed bag of cookies over there which is absolutely fine because it's going to add a lot of character it's going to add character to the light it's going to add shadow it's going to add shade it's going to add a, a dynamic kind of um feel if you will to the image across the way what we're looking at right there is the united states of america uh new york state and Niagara, USA. But we're concerned with the waterfall. We're set up on the tripod. Uh, I'm using my um, Canon 50D, my 24 to 70 mil f4 lens, which is pretty much uh, my go-to everyday lens. Right now, I have no filters whatsoever. I have nothing on there. Well, let us see what it's actually offering us for an image here. So we do have a two second timer set. We have F11, we have an ISO of 125 and it's showing a shutter speed of one sixth of a second. Let's just capture that image. There's the first image of the day nice little piece of light right above um, the actual falls themselves 
right about there. Beautiful little piece of light. Uh, wow. You know what? It's an absolutely gorgeous morning for what we're doing. Again, getting brighter to the east. The sun's approaching the horizon. We have a couple of compositions that I'm really, really interested in. I'm just going to walk you down the side of this uh, wall here, the sumac. Um, the sumac is the red or orange uh, stuff. Right here, I believe this is called sumac, but not 100% sure. Um, but anyhow, my second composition, or another composition that I really want to have a look at this morning, same kind of shot, but again, just through here. You know, I kind of like this, this particular composition better, I think, right now. And then, of course, you can see the Orshu Falls. So if we're wide enough, we could get a shot of both from here. So you know what? I think this second location here actually offers much more opportunity for us. So I think we're going to just change location. Uh, kind of recompose if you will reconfigure um yeah let's just do that i think that second location sh should or promises to give us a little bit better composition than what i'm getting right at the moment although i do like this i do like this composition right here too wow i don't know decisions decisions let's see what happens okay so yes another composition again absolutely beautiful location second image i do like uh, the fall color in the foreground but of course we can change that in post um just kind of thinking about that actually you know what i'm wondering if the fall color in the foreground um takes away from the image does it give us something else to look at that we don't really want now there's a point let's just try this one more time yeah around here at the bottom i don't know i kind of like it though i really do kind of like that composition wow just take a look at those falls amazing isn't it beautiful okay fine sorry about the runny nose a little chilly out here this morning Boom. anyhow we're going to slow things down a little bit more now i'm looking for something that's a little longer than a second of an exposure time i do not like uh to see a waterfall that just looks like a sheer sheet of white i do like to see some character but i also like to see that character with a little bit of silkiness to the flow of the water so that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to slow the shutter speed down to around a one second uh, shutter speed. We're going to see what that looks like. Let's set up a bracket uh, on the camera lens and let's apply, say, a 0.6 uh, ND filter to begin with. And let's see what happens. Okay. One shot. There we go. So, we've applied a 0.6 ND filter and it's now giving us um we adjusted the aperture we made a smaller aperture we went from f16 to f18 that's giving us now a, a one eighth of a second uh shutter speed one eighth of a second is that enough to slow things down well you know what I'm guessing it is. I'm guessing one eighth of a second for this body of water, for this waterfall, will be slow enough. Um, but you know what, it really is hard to say. So we're gonna take um, a few different shots at different shutter speeds, things to compare, things to look at. Um, whilst we're here, if we don't take the shot, then we don't have the shot. But yeah, man, how is that light coming to the east? Well. Coming nicely, 
uh, brightening up. We're starting to see a hint of color now in those clouds. Uh, just a little bit of a pinky, reddy, kind of yellowy color popping up, uh, which means the sunrise, while it's happening, um, but is it happening here? That's the thing. Uh, just depends. I mean, there's breakage in the clouds, that's for sure. There's character in the clouds. Um, there's a lot of kind of variance and variability in the clouds. So we could get some real interesting light. Uh, let's just wait. Let's just wait and see what happens now over the next little while. But again, what an absolutely gorgeous scene this morning. Wow. And you know, what I may do too, I may just change my lens for a moment and go with something a little wider. And again, I've said this before, don't ever be afraid of using your 18 to 55 mil Canon kit lens. Uh, uh, for the dollar value, you get an awful lot of bang for your buck with that lens. It's a great lens. Okay, let's change lens. Let's go a little wider and let's see what we can see. Well, the sunrise is definitely happening. Uh, the light is really beginning now to uh, blossom, if you will. Composition. Take a look, see. Not too bad at all. Okay, a second or third, I guess, composition. We're now looking at the Horseshoe Falls. Um, well, what's sometimes referred to as the Canadian Falls. But anyhow, let's just try a quick shot. So there's my image and you can see from that image the plume of um, all the, the mist and so on that rises vertically. Because that's more in a horseshoe uh, shape, it just tends to keep that mist funneling straight up. Anyhow, having said that, we have the polarizer on, we have our ND filter on, and you know I'm kind of liking the image. Although, I think I would like to increase slightly the exposure. Let's just take a little look and see what we can do with that. A moment ago, uh, <laughs> and it's what really did attract me, the um, to the right of the image, uh, the the uh, fall foliage, the fall color in the trees was beautifully illuminated uh, from a break in the clouds and the sun poking through, and it looked absolutely stunning. Uh, but by the time I got set up, of course, again racing, always racing light, that had changed. But it did look really nice, uh, and that's what attracted me to this composition to begin with. Anyhow. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful location to be in. So you know what, right here, I'm gonna mess around a little bit. I'm gonna wait for a little bit of light coming through, see if we get some poking through. And then we're gonna move further up this way, because there's one final composition that I have in mind. So hey, let's have a little bit of fun. We'll come back real soon. interesting morning uh, this has been. I did try out that third composition. I'm not sure if I got anything from that or not. Um, 
But you know what? When we sit back at the end of this video and have a look at these shots, then we'll know if we got something. But you know what? I think, I think we're going to call that a wrap this morning. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Thoroughly enjoyed myself. Um, and let's hope, let's just hope uh, that we, we collected, captured an image that's going to work um, for what I want. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Hey, again, Gary here. Gary playing photography. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Please like, comment, uh, subscribe, and do share. And you know what? We are going to sit back. We are going to have that cup of coffee. We're going to look at the images we've captured this morning. And I'll talk to you all very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.